Hi, so I'm done taking my shower and now I will just um, prep myself a little and then I'll go to work. I have to remove this. I mean, I have to spray this because of my baby hair. This one, like that. Yawn! I hate them. But they love me so much. So they come out. And I am done. breakfast I don't usually take my breakfast but today I think I'm going to drop by the buffet because last night yeah I just had pineapple fruit and uh, ice cream and then lunch time of yesterday I just ate very very few so I have to eat something now because I don't know what awaits with me in the kitchen in the galley let's go This side, I think they have balcony. It's either balcony or window. Huh? I'm going to So we're done taking our breakfast. We are now heading to our workstation, the main galley or the main kitchen in the ship. Oh god, it's so heavy. And we are now in the kitchen. Morning! Let's get to work. Among 
all of my videos, never have I ever officially introduced myself yet. For the very first time, let me introduce myself to you. I am Jel Balakwit, 20 years old, 10 years ago. I earned my living as an assistant cook in one of the biggest cruise line there is. So in this video, I am going to show you how we work and earn our hard-earned dollars. So if you are new here, please do subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell below. And for those of you who have been around for quite some time, well, you know the business. Please do like and do comment below. Thank you so much. There are different types of ships. Ships are classified as container, bulk, tanker, passenger, naval, offshore, roll-on, roll-off, or the roro ships, and the special purpose ships. So I work in a passenger ship which carries passengers, of course. These ships are mainly used for recreational activities. Cruise ships are like luxurious floating hotels with a state-of-the-art facility. As an assistant cook, I do assist the cook. I do also miss and plus. I check the temperature of the food and do what the boss tells me to do. We follow the USPH standards, uh, follow rules and regulation of the company. I also do help in the storing of the food items. Therefore, I also do carry sacks of rice, carry gallons of oil, pans of meat, and many, many more. So, di pwedeng pabebe ka pag nagbabarko ka. We have to be physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually ready pag nag-decide ka mag-work on board. Like any other jobs, there will always be extra jobs. Some call it side jobs. That will be given to you or be assigned to you. And hindi ka naman pwede humindi because you signed that and that's part of your contract. And that, my dear ladies and gentlemen, is what I have learned during my first contract. One lakay told me then, Kung hindi mo kaya, umuwi ka na lang. So, I was shocked. I was mentally challenged, physically also, and emotionally. It was like a slap on my face that I can't do the job. But then, sinabi ko sa sarili ko, No, I will never give up. 
So kahit sobrang hirap ng trabaho, I have to do it. I have to finish the job. Ta-da! Kasi naisip ko, kung kaya ng lalaki gawin, kakayanin ko rin. Hi! Hi, hi Black! Welcome to my guys! <laughs> Ang halimaw sa kusina! It is better to work in a, you know, a place where everyone is helping each other in time of, you know, in time of need so that the job will finish earlier and you can all go, you know, eat together or relax together, ganyan. Pangit kasi yung kanya-kanya, yung trabaho, di ba? It is better to work, you know, um, as a team and your, like, your team members would respect you and would help you in time of your need also. Workload here on board is so much heavier but if you have this healthy and lively environment and when people you work with becomes your family and you have these crazy people who are working with you and you know you work as a team then you won't even feel that you're working at all. It feels like you're just having fun, doing what you love most. So, ito na nga. Ganito ho kami kumakayod on board. We work 10 hours a day, sometimes more, sometimes less, with no days off, with no holidays off. And of course, with no complaints about that. Because before you sign your contract, you already know that, you know, that you won't have days off and holidays off. So, kaya ayon. But even though we don't have holidays off, um, this still is my dream job. To work and travel for free. Working here is the best way to save money and to meet a lot of different people yeah. from different yeah, countries yeah, yeah. around the world. <laughs> Working on board is tiresome because we don't have a rest day, but it is still paid off when we receive our salary. Ayan po, nag-aral lang 8 years para kuskusin yung cabinet dito sa CR. Nag-masteral pa to. <laughs> Hi, I'm going back to my cabin. Ay, mali. Mali piraso. Nasa guest. Uh, guest elevator yun. And this is the crew elevator right here. Yeah. So, matapos na naman yung araw ko. It's already 10 o'clock. So, before I came to my cabin, we already ate um, sa buffet area. And then, um, after that, after eating, like, we came home, rested for a while. And then now, I am going to edit some videos and then upload also. So, ganun lang yung buhay namin dito pa ulit, -ulit for 8 months so that is the kitchen life or the galley life in the ship and then pa shout out nga pala sa sa mga kasama ko sa galley kuya Danilo Jovi Martirez Teddy 
I'm a Celso, I'm a George, Big Boy, I'm a Jerome, Marvin, Galeo, and Denzel, Chef Lobo, Finish, and all those people in the guy. So that is how we live in this ship every single day of our lives. But we are happy. We try to enjoy work. We're just waiting for the salary. <laughs> but we work our ass off every single day. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got an idea of how we roll in the galley. That's where my video ends. Again, thank you so much. Thank you, 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 thank you,